If you've suffered facial fat loss, you may be tempted to try a procedure called PRF injection, platelet-rich fibrin. This is a treatment that's heavily promoted on YouTube by doctors such as Anil Rajani. Dr. Rajani has done countless videos promoting PRF. He calls it, in a recent video, the most natural biostimulator. He claims that it's effective for fat loss caused by anything, but especially effective when the fat loss is caused by filler dissolver. He tells us that the best clinics are using it, and he makes it seem like a miracle cure, a no-brainer. He says it's your own growth factors, your own exosomes. What he doesn't tell us, what he doesn't tell his audience, is that there is zero clinical support for PRF, for facial fat restoration, zero evidence that it restores fat fats. How do I know? Well, there's a recent peer-reviewed paper that collected all of the clinical data supporting PRF for facial rejuvenation. There are six studies. Let's take a look. Does it work? So these are the six studies. There are four where PRF was given on its own. These four studies just evaluated PRF injection as a standalone treatment. And then we have these two studies where PRF was combined with fat transfer. So let's take a look at the standalone studies. We have some results. In the Hassan study, surface spots and pores improved. And in the Cupola study, the reviewers could distinguish the before and after images at one of two time points but not the other. In the WHO study, skin texture improved, and in the Sclafani study, nasolabial fold appearance improved. So, no improvement in volume restoration, but, you know, some positives, right? Well, let's take a look at these studies closely, because we'll see that the positives may be overstated. Two of these studies, the Hassan study and the WHO study, did not select a primary endpoint. They just measured a bunch of things, and then they found a couple of things, surface spots, pores, texture, that improved. This is not a scientific study. For a study to be scientific, you have to set your hypothesis in advance. You have to say, I expect this parameter to be improved, this is how I'm gonna measure it, and this is the result at the end of the day. And they didn't do that. Now, Nicopolis and Sclafani did select the primary endpoint, and there are issues with both studies. The issue with the Nicopolis study is that they took photographs two weeks after PRF was injected. Now, two weeks is too soon for the PRF to make its way out of the system. It hasn't been completely metabolized and degraded, so it's hard to say that the improvement that the reviewers were seeing was an effect of the PRF on the biology of the skin versus an effect of remnant PRF. The Sclafani study has a more simple flaw. It was an open label study, and it's not clear that it was blinded. So the reviewers knew which subjects were getting the PRF injection and which subjects were not. And so there may have been a bias to see improvement where the improvement wasn't really there. And we're actually gonna test whether you can pick out the before image versus the after image in the Sclafani study. That's gonna be fun. We're gonna do that in just a moment, but I just wanna discuss briefly the two studies that looked at PRF injection with fat transfer. Now, unfortunately, these two studies did not look at PRF as a standalone treatment. They only looked at PRF combined with fat transfer. These studies were not designed to evaluate does PRF improve fat transfer. They didn't take a PRF group and a fat transfer group and a combination group and look at the incremental effect of PRF. So we don't even know does PRF improve the performance of fat transfer. So now we're going to play a game and we're going to ask you select of these two sets of images 
which is the before image? Is it in the first set of images that we're looking at now? Is it the one where the subject is frowning a little bit, the left image? Or is it the right image where the subject is smiling a little bit, which is the before? And then in this set of pictures where the subject is clearly not in need of volume restoration and she's got her lips pursed and frowning in this one and a slightly bigger frown, not as much of a purse in this one. Is it the left image where is the before or is it the right image that's a before? Please make your vote in the comments. It's very important that you vote in the comments. Zero clinical evidence to support PRF injection as a standalone treatment for facial fat loss. It's amazing, right? And no one has called Dr. Rajani on it. He feels completely comfortable promoting a modality with zero clinical support. Now you may ask, well, if it has zero clinical support, how did the FDA approve PRF injection for volume restoration? Well, you may be surprised to know that the FDA has never even evaluated platelet-rich fibrin for volume restoration. This is one of the many treatments performed by doctors that have never been evaluated by the FDA and have no approval. We expect doctors to act in the interests of their patients. And doctors also have a responsibility to tell the truth, to educate and not promote. Now I want your opinion. I want you to watch the Dr. Rajani video. It's short. And I want you to tell me in the comments, do you feel that Dr. Rajani is educating or is he promoting? Now please take into consideration that when you are educating, you're providing facts. You're supporting your assertions with sources and you're providing a balanced perspective. Does Dr. Rajani do any of those things? Please comment. It's very, very, very important that you comment because YouTube views your comments as validation that the information that you're getting is interesting to other people. And when you comment, YouTube is going to take that and decide that this is a video that should be seen by other people. And maybe it will be seen by the millions of viewers of Dr. Rajani's videos and make them think twice before doing something that has zero clinical support. I'm very grateful for your time. I'm very grateful for your consideration. Thank you very much.